Hey guys, Assalamu Alaikum. How's it going? Today I will unbox this new TP-Link Archer C24 A12 band router and show you guys the method of set up the router and also show you guys the dual band speed test. So without further ado, let's start the video. On the front of the box, you will find this naming and branding with few features. On the side, you guys can see the router supports the TP-Link Theta app, which is very good. On the back side, you can see this is a 750 Mbps router and between them, 433 Mbps is the 5 GHz band and the other 300 Mbps is the 2.4 GHz band. And on the other side, you guys will find these features and specifications. Now it's time for unboxing. In the box, you will get the power adapter. Keeping aside the router, you will get this installation guide. I will suggest you guys to read this before install the router. You will get a good quality Ethernet cable. And this is the router. I like the router very much. This is small and the build quality is very good. and the size of the antennas are medium it has a one port and to be noted it is not a gigabit port and other four ports are LAN ports and this is the single button for WPS or reset and on the front side you will find these five LED indicators among the four antennas only one antennas provide 5 GHz band and the other three provides the 2.4 GHz band you can adjust all the antennas very easily as you want to keep it. Now let's set up the router. And before it, if you guys are enjoying this video, a subscribe would be phenomenal for my channel. First, I will remove my old TP-Link router. Don't be puzzled. The blue port is the one port. I have a second router which is connected to this router so the other ethernet cable is for the other router. And if you guys want to know how I connect another router with this one, comment down below. First I connect the router with the power adapter. Then I will connect the new ethernet cable from ONU to my new router. By switching the power button on, the LED indicators start to blink. You guys can see the internet connection indicator is orange which means the internet is not connected with the router. For connecting the internet, we have to set up the router by our phone or PC. So first, connect the router with your phone or PC. You will find the Wi-Fi name and password backside on the router. You guys can see my device is connected with the router. Now open TP-Link Tether app. You can also do this setup with your phone browser. I have a detailed video on setting up TP-Link routers. You guys can find that video on the i button or in the description box. So go and check that video. You guys can see Tether app finds my device. First, I have to create a password. Then, 
then I have to select connection type my broadband line is a real IP so I select the third type then I will give my private user ID and password after that I have to set my Wi-Fi name and password first I will set up the 2.4 gigahertz band name and password and I also keep the 5 gigahertz band name and password same after that just click on apply it will take few moments after that you will be connected to the internet but wait in my case my internet is not connected you guys can see it is because of when you set up a new router the internet providers block that new routers IP so just call your internet provider they will fix this problem very easily now you guys can see I am connected with the internet now it's time for speed testing I test the speed with the Okla speed test meter First I connect it with the 2.4 GHz band Then I connect it with the 5 GHz band. you guys can see the difference between the 5 gigahertz band and the 2.4 gigahertz band at last i want to give you guys some buying suggestion if your devices have dual band wi-fi modem then you can buy this router you can check this by searching on google like my device is realme 5 pro i searched the specification and in wi-fi specification section i found that it supports dual band This router's price is 2000 taka and this is the best dual band router in this budget. So if you guys are finding a dual band router in low budget, this router would be a good choice for you. And again, it is fully depends on you. So this is it. I hope this video is helpful for you. And if it is, give a like to this video. Thanks for watching. My name is Rahi. See you in the next one.